Hey everybody, this is Diana. Uh, this is my first haul video of crafty things I bought in June and July. I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, this video will mainly feature things from Mama Elephant, Lawn Fawn, and MFT. First up, I have Mama Elephant's Bookworm stamp set. It's so cute. I really like the images of all the animals with glasses, and I like how the stamp set comes with different arrangements of books. Uh, these kinds of stamp sets are great for scene building, which you'll see me do soon because I do have a video planned with the stamp set um, that I'll be doing next. So if you want to see what I come up with, please subscribe and stay posted. I love seeing examples of the stamp set being used. Uh, this is Mama Elephant's Dandelion Wishes stamp set. Uh, when I first saw the stamp set, I thought it would be great for box pop-up cards. And I love using strips of acetate to make things appear like they're floating. And all the dandelion fluffs would be like great for that. I also really like how the drawing style matches that of previous stamp sets so you can use them together. I'm actually super excited to start creating with the set. Hippity Hop was released uh, earlier this year, and I'm just acquiring it now. Uh, all the baby bunnies are just so cute, and I actually can't wait to use this stamp set. My favorite one is the one that's sitting and smirking. Uh, Mama Elephant like totally knocked it out of the park this year for stamp sets featuring bunnies. I actually think I own them all now. Uh, this stamp set would also be great to use with the Daddy Lion Wishes stamp set. Next I have the Swinging Borders stamp set. I bought it because I really like the variety of borders and I thought I could use them on both box cards and regular cards to help create a scene. I really like that leaf border and I think it would work really well with the Little Monkey Agenda stamp set. It's so cute, like with all the Mama Elephant uh, stamp sets. Um, I'll probably do this in a future project. I also acquired the Lots of Letters stamp set. Um, I do have one letter stamp set that is a Lawn Fawn one, but I really like this one because I like how tiny the font is. Uh, the stamp set would work really well with the banner in the Swinging Border stamp set. Um, and if anybody's wondering, the banner is long enough to spell out Happy Birthday. So I have a bunch of Lawn Fawn stuff from their summer release, and I order things, and since I'm in Canada, it kind of takes a while to like get to me. Uh, my favorite stamp set is You Are Sublime. I love creating underwater themed cards and what I really love about Lawn Fawn is that their stamp sets coordinate so well with previous stamp sets and it just so happens to work really well with my all time favorite Lawn Fawn stamp set, Mermaid For You. Uh, it also works well with Fantastic Friends, um, it's like the stamp set with a bunch of fish. Um, anyway, between the three sets there is lots of fish, coral, seaweed and underwater elements that you can create some awesome underwater themed cards with. A couple months ago, someone on my Etsy shop actually requested a roller coaster themed card. I couldn't do it for them because I didn't have any roller coaster themed stamps, but now I do. This is the Coaster Critter stamp set. So props to Lawn Fawn for originality. Like roller coasters, this is awesome. <laughs> the set has some great coordinating sentiments. Life with you is thrilling. Have a thrilling birthday. Enjoy the ride. Life is full of ups and downs. Let's roll with it together. They even released a slider die that coordinates with the larger roller coaster image. Um, I do have plans to turn this into a slider box card eventually, but I wasn't planning on turning it into a YouTube video. Uh, but if you want me to, please comment below. If I get more than 20 people wanting me to do it, then I'll make it. <laughs> the stamp set is great. Um, the critters are cute. And you can put things in their hands, put them in the roller coaster car, or make them man the food or ticket booths. I'm really excited to use this stamp set. Here I have the Critter Concert stamp set. I love the cute animals playing their instruments. In particular, I like the bird and the interchangeable instruments that you can have him play. He can play the cymbals, the tambourine, the triangle, or you can even make him conduct. Um, there are also some music notes and other accessories that are really nice touches that help add to the musical woodland theme. Um, it would have been great if I also owned the Forest Beast stamp set. They have a uh, large tree stump stamp from that stamp set that would have been like a great stage for these animals. So this is an older stamp set. I can't even remember when it was released, but I think it was like sometime last year. Uh, this is the Hang In There stamp set. Uh, it's a mini stamp set, so you can get it at a great price point. I love sloths. Um, it's a great image for belated birthday cards, uh, and it's nice because the happy and the birthday um, sentiments are two different word stamps. So you can have like, sorry I'm slow, happy belated birthday. Really, I bought it because I thought the sloth would work really well with the animals in the Wild For You stamp set, and hopefully I'll get around to using these soon. 
Next I have the Lawn Fawn Stitch Scallop Circle Frames. I didn't have anything like this in my crafty stash yet, so I thought it would make a great addition. I also bought the Scallop Rectangle Frames, but it was in a different order and it hasn't come yet, so I can't make it into this haul video. Um, but I thought both would work well for frames for shaker cards. Um, I make quite a few shaker cards because I like using scrap acetate for my box pop-up cards, but I'm not really sure how you'd use the smallest die. Um, the outside measures one inch and the inside is three eighths of an inch. It's too small to make it into a shaker or to frame anything. So if anybody has any examples of how to use the smallest die, please send it my way. I'd like to get some ideas because I'm not really sure how to use it. So hey. I have a confession. I had no idea what a bayou was until Lawn Fawn released this die set. <laughs> so this die came out in their spring release this year. Um, the frame of the die is five and a half by four and a quarter, so it'll fit the front of a regular A2 size card. I really ha like how uh, Lawn Fawn added that stitching detail to the frame. I feel it really adds that extra subtle detail to the card to make it like stand out. Uh, and this is actually fairly versatile. The way I'm holding it now, it's like vines coming down um, in like a marsh but if you flip it upside down it's like seaweed so it'd be great for underwater scene cards too um, this die set also includes a bunch of scene building elements like a body of water reeds grass and it kind of reminds me of the dad and me stamp set um, also with the body of water die you could cut slits in it with the ocean waves accents and pop creatures of vegetation out of the water and i'm thinking about ducks particularly the rubber dub dub ducks <laughs> that would be super cute I bought some older stamp sets for autumn and Halloween themed cards. Uh, this is the Happy Harvest stamp set that came out back in 2015. Um, so when I invest in stamp sets, I always think about stamps that can help me scene build, like particularly for like box cards. <laughs> and I really like the sunflowers, cornstalks, and pumpkins in this set. I decided to get the Costume Party stamp set, and it's really cute. Um, and because it's lawn font, there are other stamp sets that work well with it. I also previously acquired the Easter Party mini stamp set, but just ignore the Yeti stamp set that's on the left. <laughs> but the images um, are the same size, and they're drawn in the same way, so it'd be easy to incorporate both of them on a card together. I also got the Happy Haunting stamp set, and this is a really old stamp set. It's from Lawn Fawn's Fall 2013 release, but I thought the house, fence, and tree would be really good elements to set up a trick-or-treating scene for those um, little kids dressed up. Since I'm kind of on the roll with older Halloween stamp sets, I opted to get Mama Elephant's Bootastic stamp set. I love whoever designs and illustrates for Mama Elephant. You do a fabulous job. I really like the style that the characters are drawn in. I love how you included this little cat with a wizard hat and all the little elements that you can get the characters to hold. Um, I also love how the sentiments are in different fonts. They say, all tricks, no treats, uh, just kidding, happy Halloween. You're a boo-tastic, eat, drink, and be spooky, and peekaboo, a little treat for you. In contrast to the Lawn Fawn Costume Party stamp set, uh, I like how you can mix and match and create your own sentiments there. I'm really excited to use both stamp sets. Now for a little MFT. Um, I acquired the MFT You Make My Heart Spin stamp set. Uh, this stamp set is larger than the Lawn Fawn and Mama Elephant sets. Uh, those are four by six inches. This one is four by eight inches. Um, again, I like stamp sets for scene building elements. Uh, particularly, I like the two sizes of trees and the patch of ice. I also really like the sideways skating bunny. I think this stamp set would be great to make slider cars with. And with that being said, I also acquired the Hit the Slopes Dynamics. Uh, the slope dies have stitching on both sides of the cut line, and um, the slider channels included match the angle of the slopes. I see lots of potential for this die set. Um, I don't make that many slider cards. Like, I like making slider cards, um, but I like using pennies, and unfortunately I'm in Canada, and they got rid of pennies back in 2013. So I get pennies once in a while from relatives that live in the States. So family, if you're watching this, hi, thank you. I really appreciate your spare change. Last but not least, I also acquired a new paper cutter. This is Tim Holtz Tonic Maxi Guillotine Comfort Paper Trimmer. And before I had the 12 inch Fiskars Bypass Trimmer, which lasted me less than a year and wore down the blade, kind of cuts jagged. Amazon says that it's a self sharpening blade that never needs to be replaced. And maybe other people had had um, better experiences than me, but I feel I just wasted my money on it. But this tonic paper trimmer is really nice. Um, the grid lines are actually like engraved in. It's 
a uh, 12 and a quarter inch paper cutter and it's fairly portable. It's basically like half the size of my other one. Um, it has a plastic spring loaded finger bar so you can easily hold your paper while you're cutting it. And what's really nice about this paper cutter and what I really like about it is that the handle and the measuring extension are nicely stored on the bottom of the unit. So you just have to slide the soft grip handle on and pop in the extension if your paper is bigger than five and a half inches. With the extension you can cut paper up to twelve and a half inches. And I really like how compact it is compared to my other paper cutter and I'm really looking forward to using this more. So that finishes up my June-July haul video. This is probably the most you've ever heard me talk. Um, if you like this kind of video and you want to see more of what I like to buy, please thumbs up and subscribe to let me know. I'll be back shortly with another uh, box card process video using Mama Elephant's Bookworm stamp set. So please look forward to that. Thanks so much for watching.